Students gathered tonight at SUNY Brockport to protest a racist TikTok video that was put on social media by a Brockport student. Students there demanding accountability and greater representation on campus. Christian Garzon was out there earlier tonight. He joins us now in the newsroom with the latest on all this. Christian. Well, Adam, in addition to that TikTok video, a group of young ladies say they were yelled at by men in pickup trucks. These two incidents, were told, were the straw that broke the camel's back. Leaders and students told News 8 they are looking to bring awareness, awareness to a history of intolerance. A TikTok video hit social media allegedly made by a Brockport student. The language and scenario racially insensitive. And just before that, four young women were yelled at by men in pickup trucks. The language, we're told, racist. I'm just hoping for a change and to let everyone know that their words hurt. Caitlin Facey was one of the women who were yelled at on the street. She hopes tonight brings awareness. Everyone's equal. Everyone should be treated the same. It really hurts. Professor Douglas Thomas says while well, Brockport is an excellent school, representation is lacking. One of the issues I see is we need more black and brown people on campus in faculty positions and administrative positions. The chief diversity officer, Demita Davis, says there's been a history here of intolerance. Students are upset. They're upset not only in regards to the recent TikTok video that was posted on social media, but also previous incidents of racism, bias that has taken place. Davis says tonight is about providing a space for students to air their frustrations and make faculty aware of issues impacting them and work on solutions. Really having conversations with our faculty about the experiences in the classroom with diverse students and really looking at bias and microaggressions. Brockport, she says, is up to the challenge. I'm proud to work with, with Brockport and work at Brockport because they're very committed to this initiative, this work that we're doing around equity, diversity, and inclusion. And those in attendance tonight included former city councilman Vince Felder and former chief diversity officer at Brockport, Dr. Cephas Archie. In the newsroom, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, back to you. Christian, thank you. We do have a full statement up online from the chief diversity officer over at our website, rochesterfirst.com.